Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and this is a quick update on Earthrise Leader Class Double Dealer because when I did my first impression review of him, I got the bird mode all kinds of wrong and I guess that's to be expected when I'm doing a first impression uh, video, just unboxing it, opening it and just kind of experiencing it for the first time without looking at the instructions. I was bound to get it wrong at some point and boy did I get the bird mode all kinds of wrong. Um, in that video, if you've seen it, I based my transformation of the figure into bird mode, I based it on my experience with the G1 figure and, and, it, and it worked. It, it did a good bird mode, but not correct. I was I, I was off and, and um, I, I haven't posted, at the time of recording this, I haven't posted that video yet, but I just know I'm gonna get all kinds of comments about it. So I'm doing this addendum or this update to it. So, <laughs> so that I can correct myself. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the missile, set it aside for now take the fists and put them away. And what I did is I transformed the, the arms, I transformed them like you would in vehicle mode. That's not at all what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do actually is we're gonna take them back and right here in front of the back wheels, we have this tab and there's a slot on the side of the forearm there. So we're gonna angle this elbow just enough to be able to get that tab into that slot right there. And we're gonna lock the arms into the back of the uh, truck wheels there or the rear truck wheels so we're going to do that on both sides and it takes a you know little angling and whatnot this is the part that's not too bad we are going to have a part that is actually pretty bad so there we go we're going to take that and then we're going to move these out like so and you want it looking just like that next we're going to work on the legs and this is the part that gets really tricky and really complicated and i hope i'm going to be able to show it off on camera so we're going to do just like we're going into truck mode and we're gonna flip them. Now what we're gonna do, once we do have them flip, this is the part that gets really complicated. Um, and for the sake of trying to show everything on video, I'm gonna go ahead and just deploy the wings and get them out of the way so that we can try and see what is going on here. So we've got these joints down here that are gonna rotate like such, okay? And you'll see there's two of them. So what we wanna do here is we wanna rotate these all the way in like so, so that we're collapsing that tab right there into the blue part of the inside of the leg. And that's gonna bring the legs all the way up. And we wanna get them to a place where, we're, if you remember these tabs that we were working in in truck mode, we wanna get this tab on the side of the truck. We're not gonna get it into the leg. We wanna get it all the way up here on the side of the body on the gray part. It gets tricky, it gets hard to do. You have to finagle with it quite a bit because parts are just going to get in each other's ways. And I find that it's a little easier to do if you don't tab the front halves of the truck together while you're doing this. Just kind of work it up there. This side's done, so I don't know if that's going to show or not, but that tab is actually tabbed into the gray part of the body. And I'm going to try and work that on the same here. And what I found is that when you get one done, when you're working on the second one, the first one tends to come undone. So it gets, like I said, it gets a little tricky. This is one of those things you just kind of have to get used to. I'm not, not quite as used to it yet. There it is. So there we are. So now the sides of the truck, those tabs that were on the side of the truck there are actually tabbed into those slots on the gray part of the body right in there. Hopefully that'll show well, okay? Which is really neat because now what that does is it actually shortens the whole front end of the truck to make a little bit of a shorter bird body, which actually works perfectly. So now another mistake I did is that I transformed this as if I was going into truck mode. I flipped it and I brought it down. And if you remember these tabs, will tab into these slots right here in the front of the truck. Well, now it's too short. Now it's way too short, you see? That's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna leave it like it was in robot mode. So we want the opening facing out. We're gonna take this part of the cab, bring it up, Bring this all the way down and then we're going to use that cab to tab into that blue part there for the uh, power masters and hold them down like that so there we are that part is all done and now we can go ahead and bring well we'll leave that there for now we can go ahead and open this up and bring the head out just like that this part will tab into the back here just like i showed you in the previous video we can go ahead and close that up, 
turn the head of the bird, extend it. Now we can go ahead and come back here to this bottom part and now we can go ahead and bring the arms down, which makes for a lot less bulky bird mode. If you remember, I had these forearms were sticking all the way out here. Again, just like they did in G1. Now it's a little more sleek. Uh, so the bird body overall is a little shorter and it's a little, uh, well, it's, it's a little shorter in length and it's a little shorter in height and it makes it a little more cohesive of a bird mode, which is really nice. It looks really good uh, for something that I already thought looked pretty good as is. Um, now, it, now it looks even better and, and, and it's correct. It's properly transformed, it's correct. And it looks even better than it did before. So that is really, really nice. Now, I did have some uh, repro labels, and I went ahead and uh, put in a Decepticon symbol on the back of the bird and on his forehead, just like on the G1 figure. Let me grab F and bring it in the shot. So, yeah, I just kind of replicated, and th these actually were leftovers that I have from a toy hack set uh, that I did for him, for the G1 figure. So I had two, uh, the exact same two Decepticon symbols left over. I used the exact same two that are used here. I used them here on the new bird to kind of just give that more a little more of a G1 oomph. So there's that. And of course you can now take the your missile here. And as we discovered in the previous video, that's going to tab into the actual feathers. And then the clips on the missile are going to clip in to this clip on the top of the bird here. Let me get that straightened out. I have to get used to filming from behind a camera again. I haven't done it in so long. There we go, that's going to tap in right in there and uh, bring the outriggers in. And that is it, we're all set, it's just getting straightened out and there it is. So there is Earthrise Double Dealer in his proper bird mode. And just for fun, we can go ahead and bring in the accessories. Um, so what I've been, what I, what I found I like doing with this gun is putting it right here on the top of the missile. I think that looks pretty cool up there. And then I've been taking these little missile launchers here and I've been putting them on the fists here. So I think those look pretty neat right there. And of course, I know that the instructions say have specific places they tell you to put these. This is where I put, I mean, you can, there's ports everywhere on this figure. You can put these pretty much anywhere you want. I like putting this one down here. Um, and this is just what looks good to me. If I'm gonna put all the accessories on them, that's what looks good to me. So I really like the way that looks. And again, it made a figure that uh, I already loved and my first impression of it was all just everything positive about it even though I got half of that bird mode wrong I still liked it I thought it looked pretty good when you get it right it's even better so this has done nothing but improve the figure for me even more and again just uh, so we can get the shot out we'll go ahead and uh, do comparison with G1 before we take it out there so yeah very cool um so I guess, you know, it was bound to happen, like I said. Uh, I'm doing these new first impression reviews. I'm experiencing a figure for the first time on camera, not really knowing what I'm getting into. I'm not looking at the instructions. And so far I've done pretty good. This was bound to happen where I was gonna get a transformation just all kinds of wrong, <laughs> and that happened with Earthrise. So, uh, sorry, with Earthrise uh, Double Dealer. It was bound to happen. So there it is, a uh, quick update for Earthrise Double Dealer Bird Mode. So let me know what you thought of this figure in the comments down below. Give me some thumbs up. Hit that donate button. Hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.